right, now that we got elemental lancing cleared up, status lancing cleared up, lancing as a whole cleared up, what else is there to talk about? In terms of information, I gave, it every, I gave everything to you. Now we're just gonna be talking crap. We're just going to talk crap. And that's fine by me, because let's go switch lances, of course. Let's, let's continue switching lances. Let's try some of the more outlandish lances out there. The ones that no one ever uses because there's just stuff wrong with them. And I got a couple of these I want to try out. I've, I've, I haven't made all the lances. I made quite a bit. But I didn't really, like, make all of them. Not all of them. But let's make some of the fun, the funner -er -er ones that I have. So, well, let's not make. Let's actually use some of the funner -er 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 ones that I have right now. All right. Let's start off with the white catastrophe because it's so cool looking. Do you see that? So cool. It's a water gun gun lance. My foot. It's a water lance. It has one. Is that one fifty? Is that one fifty? It's one fifty. One fifty what? Is the, the print is so tiny. One fifty water. Six ninety attack. Lots of white. Two slots. No purple. If this thing had purple, it'd be pretty good. Just saying. It would be pretty good. So let's go fight something that can get clapped by water because you know I mean I'm I'm ever so tiny. Fingers crossed. I mean we will probably switch our weapons depending on what my man right there picks, but it's all in the air. You know they're using bows; they can adapt on the fly. Me, I'm a blade master. When I pick a weapon, yo, that's all I got. So make it something funky, homie. Let's hope that it's a good one. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it a real nice one. Let's let's get it. Let us go and get it. Speaking of which, not even speaking of which. Anyway, moving over. Let's talk about the rest of this week of series that we have going on here. We are almost done with the week of. We got two more months before Monster Hunter Generations drops. And let's go. Yeah, let's finish up before Generation drops. We can do that. We have Lance to, to knock out, we have Gun Lance, we have Great Sword, we got a couple other Blade Master stuff, I think four Blade Master, eh, I wanna say we have about six more weeks of, and since there's eight weeks, I'm probably gonna have to bring this to you guys as, uh, as, often, as, we, as often as I can get it going, because um, I really wanna get it done. Bow Gun is being wrapped into one Bow Gun though. You're gonna pick one. You get if if bowgun gets picked, I'm picking one bowgun. It's not gonna be heavy bowgun, light bowgun. Sure, they play differently, but screw that. Let me just get my one bowgun and call it a day. And that one bowgun is actually is that has already been chosen. Heavy bowgun. I have a set for it. It's not a mixed set because I don't really know bowgunning stuff. So I'm just kind of going with the flow here. The bow mix set that I had was an inspiration because I was just playing with the random with random friends and then I saw this man set. I was like, yo, that set is nice. And I saw that I could practically replicate What is this man doing, bruh? The hell's going on, fam? Bro, we got shit to do. Shit. Over here talking about bows and stuff, man. What the hell? Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, because I don't know mixed bow gun stuff, but I got lucky with that mixed bow set. I just got lucky with it because a friend had it, and it was looking real nice. I was like, yo, do you mind if I like snag a couple of abilities off of this? But the heavy bow gun set, if I'm not mistaken, it's just full gen. I had a full gen heavy bow gun set back in Try, because it was... It was really good with something that had like cluster shot or something on it, and that was a hugely good thing because people would always do that when fighting Alatron to get the horns, because he was a very tall monster, kind of hard to knock down and keep down. So they would either sleep bomb it or shoot it. Yeah, let's go. What'd you got for me, old girl? What the? Uh, the attack is seven eighty six. Okay, it's a lot of attack for Lance. It's a lot. But speaking for attack on Lance, attack on Lance, Jesus. We're gonna work on an even higher attack, Lance. This monster is gonna be quite the fight here. I mean, I'm not doing as much water, even though his weakness is water, and I don't have purple, and some of his 
body pieces are a bit armored. Um, having mind's eye would be really nice to have. I mean, I have a mind's eye lancing set, but I, I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to use it. This is my bread and butter lancing set. Has the highest defense, the the better skills in my opinion. I mean, earplugs, high grade earplugs were on the other set. The only true reason for you as a lancer to have high grade earplugs is for mounting purposes. Because if you're a real good lancer, you can just counter or block your roars. Or just, yeah, counter or block the roars. Unless you're mounting, in which you can't do such a thing. But I thought to myself, I don't really need it because... Not, not with this set. This set was just going to be all around lancing stuff. There we go. Can I get the mount? Thank you, bro. You know what? Fighting Molten Tigrex when he's not angry is kind of scary. Because it's like... The only thing I'm waiting on right now is for him to get angry. He's one of those monsters that gets angry all the time. Curse you, White Sharpness. Oh, here is a time to talk about a, a, this really nice ability that the Lances have. Not a lot of weapons have it. I don't. Not, I'm not even sure if any other weapons have it, but Lances have the ability to pierce a bit. They can attack certain areas of a monster where in which other weapons could not, because of its, you know, it, it, because of the lance as a thing. Lances have the ability to pierce. This, this is a real world thing. It can go through things that normal things couldn't go through due to their surgical you know, implication of what they do, meaning the pokes. Other weapons are slashing weapons. This is a poking weapon. Poking is easier to actually get done than it is to slash, because slashing is wide range, where poking is a very small, finite thing. That's, that I really call poking finite. I'm so dumb. Jeez, Dak, you learn, learn to use the English correctly, huh? But yes, yeah, some things can be hit while others cannot. Uh, a good example is when you fight an apex monster, where it's like almost not impossible to attack them while they're apex and have your weapon attack go through. Lances are given a bit more of a grace than other weapons are. It's just a thing. It's the reason as to why normally lances, we are in the beginning, we're some of the last weapons to actually attain green sharpness because most weapons need green sharpness to hit certain parts, whereas the lance does not. So that's, that's, that's that. That's like all the lands I know. I've given you guys every bit of lands information that I know. I feel like I've cheated and given you guys, like, the secret to my success. I can hit where you can't. I can block where you can't. I can do a lot of things where you can't. But you can totally do everything faster than I can. So that's that. Yeah, that's pretty much Lance in a nutshell. I can do things you can't, but you can you can do faster things than me. Ew. This is probably a bad idea to fight this monster. I mean, this monster's kind of a handful. Like, I can get it done, but sometimes you wonder, do I want to get it done? Man, I was so sure I was going to get hit by that attack. Oh, wait. One thing I didn't talk about was the, uh, the, the, ad the advancing guard. The advancing guard allows you to block and move at the same time. It's, it's an attack, actually an ability. That I like to use a lot, especially on monsters like Devil Joe, who does his breath. You can just evade through it because the evasion on his breath is like, well, to evade through his breath is like the, the first thing people teach you when you try to evade Lance. But uh, as a guard Lancer, the advancing guard should be the first thing you learn how to really get down. Because with it, you, you're able to move forward and still block, and you're good. 
and coming off of a ledge you can use it to actually mount a monster. So the advancing guard has its benefits. You can attack after it as well. Which is a, it's a really cool thing. I mean, it does impact damage. You've seen me do it a couple of times. I think I'm, I'm stunned? Not knocked out, but stunned the Gormagala the last time we fought it. Like, it was about to go and do some crazy, and I was like, four suits. And then I slapped it with my shield, and then, like, fell out of its rage mode. Damn, son. Might we get more action, or might we catch this cart? Oh, I'm just remembering stuff all the time. The up lance attack does, like, I honestly want to say 10 more points of damage. Or Okay, it, the up attack is more damaging than the forward, okay? How much so? Not much, but every bit counts, you know what I mean? Every bit counts. It could be the difference between 20 more pokes and the monster's dead, you know? It just does more. Not a lot more, but since it does more and it equates to the same thing as the other one would do, it's just recommended that you do it. So, so so just do it, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, we got the second triple card of the day. Wolf of the series. Don't fret. It's okay, my lovelies. Monster Hunters and Monster Hunters. We don't die, we multiply. We come out the ashes like phoenixes. Yo, phoenix down for a reason. And also the things that, that come back to life. Like Hydra, cut one head, ten more come back. 